Also hearing for months now, advocates have been demanding transparency and the release of that dash cam video in this case. Tonight, we're learning those efforts won't stop despite the conclusion of this investigation. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson joins us now live in Roanoke. Bree. Lindsay, NAACP leaders say that they plan to move forward with plans to submit information to the U.S. Justice Department. They say that the public deserves to see the video of the Keontae Spencer shooting investigation. But local leaders I spoke with say they're standing by the county's decision not to release it. Finally, we are not releasing the video uh, of this incident. The Roanoke County Police Department's decision not to release dash cam video of Keontae Spencer's shooting death has raised concerns. We spoke with president of the Roanoke chapter of the NAACP, Brenda Hale. Uh, we expected that there would be no charges uh, with the police officers and we're still concerned about the policies, the process and the procedures. Throughout this case, NAACP leaders have asked to see the dash cam video. Chief Hall says the department will not release it to the public in order to protect his officers and to prevent someone from altering the video. Roanoke County Board of Supervisor Jason Peters was among a select group who did see what was recorded on the dash cam. But I do feel confident in our police department and our uh, Commonwealth attorney that they did a very thorough investigation and even what he said today in the, the press conference that if any other agencies I guess maybe the state or state or federal level want to take a look he's happy to work with them so that showed me the confidence that he had in, in the investigation of not only our department but the Commonwealth attorney. Hale says the community could benefit from seeing exactly what happened the night Keontae Spencer was shot and killed. In the future, uh, I do believe that the community could benefit like we had asked from the very beginning for an open, transparent investigation. There is such distrust in the process that was done. Even though the police chief hall thinks that he has done the best investigation that you could possibly ever do, but still, you don't have the trust of the community. And while the handling of this case has mixed reaction, both sides agree that this is a tragedy that no one wants to ever see happen again. And we did some checking to see if the public now has a right to see that video. And based on the Virginia Supreme Court decision in the past, even though an investigation has ended, that does not mean the public can have access. In Roanoke, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.